Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance here. And welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Now, MT-25. I'm going to say, it used to be my favourite tank. The T-25-2 was epic. I mean, don't get me wrong. This thing's pretty blooming good. Um, I don't think it gets enough appreciation. I know the gun is not good, but as a scouting tank, a passive one, very good. Um, so I'm just going to think where I'm going to go here right at the start. And get some spots right at the early at the start of the game. I've got really good view range, so I might as well use that to my advantage, so that's what I'm thinking. Try this bush here. See if we can spot something. Now I'm not expecting to uh kill anything in this round, but definitely to spot something. Even if I can spot for these TDs behind me. I got up there, I didn't spot them, but this guy's going in like a hero. Well, I don't know if I've got... I think I've got the view range to spot these guys. Should have. Nothing should spot me here. Pretty safe. Beyond the house, anyway. Beyond the house. On the hill. Think about facing front, but as soon as I move, my camo net's going to drop. So, I don't really want to turn right now. Still don't want to move from this spot, really. Come on, guys, shoot him. Princess down. I'm whispering, <laughs> you know, whispering like he's, like he might better hear me. Here he comes. Hellcat's coming in. Do not want to move from this spot. Now, as, a, as I was going to... Actually, there is a purpose to today's video, actually. I wanted to just have a quick talk about, actually, the smaller tanks in the game, you know. And although I do a lot of, like, you know, Tier 7 to Tier 10s, there's a lot of, actually, small tanks that I like. Like, you know, there's actually many of them I like. Um, that are actually... It's, it's worth playing them. I think even some cases, Tier 1 to maybe 4... It's something you know. It's pretty much worth doing them as well, because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to see maps that you haven't seen before. What this guy's doing. Who's that black princess coming up? What's he doing? Here he comes. Well, here he goes. Anyway, I have to move in a minute. I think. Me out of there. Enough's enough. Let's go and help these guys down here and see if I can spot something now. Oh, got to repair that. Keep on moving. Don't worry about him. Let's sort him out. He's taking some hits, so I'm not following him. AT7 inbound, artillery. Is that artillery there? Or was that. Yeah, it was artillery, yeah. Could go and try and carousel this guy here. I know he's got the PZ behind him, I think. It's me going in. Bit ammo rack, but does it really matter in this thing? Probably not. Someone's shooting at me now. Which is fine. Now, what I do have in my favour is speed. So, as long as they're not on this side, we should be fine. I haven't got a repair kit, I've just noticed. Oh, no, repair. I used it earlier, didn't I? When that um, swine shot me earlier. Penetration. 
panic there. The problem was, is I, I was I couldn't see where, which way his gun was uh, facing. M6, can see the ELC over there. These shouldn't be a problem. We've got KV1, Stuart, oh, some other little tanks now. Well, I'm, I'm, let's be honest, I'm not a big tank myself, am I? That's what I read off. Five seconds, even with an ammo rack, it's not that bad, is it? Thirteen HP, yeah, that's good enough for me. We didn't penetrate their armor. Oh my god. I couldn't believe that. I mean even with this tank, like I said, not not that great for like penetrating really, is it? Well, what did I actually spot there? See, that was not bad. I did well. I did better than I thought I did. Two and a half thousand spot in there for... You know, I didn't do any damage at all, did I? Um, pretty good. Uh, I had a fair out on the team. Not bad. See what I mean? It's not about finding your gun with this thing, really. I mean, particularly in them sort of games. You know, just actually spotting these tanks. Uh, did I actually spot... I did spot... Uh, only one I spotted there was a the Black Princess... Could improve that, can I? Let's give it another go. The fact that I survived the round was pretty impressive, I thought. Um, that's, the, that's why I don't do that many videos on the MT-25 and, and these sort of tanks, because it's not about staying alive in this tank. It's about, oh, it's, you know, when you're a spotter, if, you, if I spot the whole team and, at the start of the game and everyone shoots them, that's great, you know? But, you know, it's not about killing loads of tanks in this thing. And if I die, you know... Two minutes into the game and there's six, six tanks left and we're winning. We win. I mean, that's how it works. But actually, believe it or not, I'm actually good at um, my stats. About I think about 55% in this thing. So not bad. Um, but you, I do die a lot. Um, but I die bef and I spot. So my plan is here. I'm going to try and spot them coming up the hill. I'm not going to go up the hill, waste of time. I'm going to try and spot them coming up the hill so these guys can shoot them when they're driving up the hill. Um, I'm faster than any tank here. Faster than the T64. I'm going downhill as well, so we're going to probably hit maybe 70 here, maybe even faster than that. I think. See what we get: 70, 71, 72. Come on, we're going to crack 75 here. Might get faster than that. 75, 76, 77. Don't want to take any hits going from early spots, so just them coming up the hill. One, two, pushing them back as well, which is always good, giving a bit of hesitation. Now I've got to look at my exit route, and shot from the flank, it's fine, zigzag a little bit. So the fact that I made them hesitate there, you might think that, oh, what was the point of that? There was a point to that because now they've hesitated there. That gives these guys a little bit more time to get up on that hill. So I'm going to change my position now. See if I'm going to be a little bit more effective over another side. So we've got a couple of non movers here, which is not good. I'm sure, they're going to move in a minute or so. Oh no, look. He was asking to get shot, wasn't he? I don't think I can really pen, really, in this thing, you know. We'll just how it goes. I won't worry about him as yet. We've got no one up in this top corner. Not looking good, is it? Right, what? Can I add any assistance down there? Um, I want to say questions, probably no. No, not there's no one tank left. No way. There's not much I can do there. I 
Tiger P, there's just too many of them there. That's not going to work out. I can't go that way. Too many tanks. There's like seven tanks there. I mean, I'm in a little spotting tank here. So these guys need to uh, sort it out. They need to move over here. Look. Blank, blank, blank. What I can do is maybe just try and help out on the hill a little bit. It might sound a bit crazy, but... See what we can do. Let's take out the last tank, maybe. And then they can all flank round and then take out... The oh, look, there's the T-64 there coming in. Very lucky there. Now we need to go back, guys. Don't think I'll really do much yet, other than spot him. I don't think I'm even going to pen him. Could do is move up to. Is there anyone on the hill around that way, around that flank? Let's have a move around to see what we can do. Could there be anyone on the hill? There could well be, can there? Let's go and have a quick spot. We've got artillery as well. Have we got artillery here yeah, somewhere? Let's go and have a look up here. He might be up here. I've spotted them now, so let's just whiz around this way. Oh, I'm not going to repair that. I need my repair kit just in case. My, it's my entry point. I'm in. We didn't even scratch them. That one bounced. Ricochet. They're knocked out. Jobs are good in. KV3 on the flank. He's not looking this way. He's going out. He's going down. Fingers crossed. If he goes down the open, I'm going to carousel him. Let's do it. One track. Got him. 
Man down, man down. So, guys, that proves it all, doesn't it? I've, I've done, I think I've done absolutely brilliantly now. I'm well pleased with that. I think I've played really well. Um, M M MT25 kills two. I'm just really pleased with that. I think I've played really, really well. Um, to actually pull that back at the start, you know, didn't look like I was doing so well, did it? Um, and then, really, with them ones on the hill there, I used the speed and to my, my advantage there by, by all means. And I got the last kill. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic round. What a round. Uh, really pleased with that. Uh, just shows you the, what sort of rounds you can have. And I think, let's do what I spotted at the start. What did I do at the start? So I actually thought I did better than that. I think for that little tank there, I played well. Um, let's have a look. Uh, spotted one, two, three, four. Spotted upon damage, third of a thousand. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. How did the IS do? IS2. Yeah, did really well there. God, he did well, didn't he? Did five, six thousand damage on the front. The Tiger P's, I think, is better than the Tiger because it's just got 200 millimeters of front armor. Just, uh, why wouldn't you go for the Tiger P? I prefer it. Um, so, one more round. See how we go. So far, so good. But this is what you've got to expect. Don't expect me in this tank to go bossing in there and killing everything. Because that ain't, ain't going to happen. Um, oh, okay, I killed a couple of tanks there. But I picked on the weak. You know, and I used the speed to my advantage. But, you know, you can't expect that sort of thing when you're, you know, in a in a high tier like this. For me to do the same thing. Uh, because I can do the same thing at the end. But at the, at the start of the game, it's very difficult to kill tanks. I think you've just got to go for that scouting. Um, and that's all you can do, really. Don't really know any any fantastic scouting spots here, but what I could try and do is try and spot them early as they cross uh, the river, um, so which I'm going to try and do now. Uh, I've got an E25 there. Let's see if we have a race with him. He's, you would have thought he'd be more aerodynamic, wouldn't you, because he's lower to the floor, but I don't think World of Tanks takes that into consideration. No, he's not going the same way as me. Why is he going that way? I don't know. He's actually like middle tier here. You know, I know he's a premium tank, but... He's got a fair bit of HP actually, in all fairness. The binoculars on. There's one. Here we go. Nice. We didn't penetrate their armor. I have to move back from there anyway now. Thanks, man. That might be. No, it all helps, particularly when you're in one of these little tanks, you know, you just got to grab as much XP as you possibly can. Not suicidal, obviously. There don't seem to be many tanks over this way, does there? Hmm. Now look where our tanks are placed at the moment. IS-6 going to V... Oh god, that's not good, is it? An IS-6 and IS-3, which are both in a platoon together. Do you know what? I was going to try and make it over there, but I can't make it. I was going to go and make it up on the rocks there. I might better make it if I go a different route. Let's go around this way. So I wasn't going to go and spot up here, but these guys, look, they're all moving out. The only things we've got left are them ones, and they've got to try and pen an I-6, so it's either going to 
try and nail this flank so these free these guys up down here, or it's not going to be looking good, is it? Let's see if I can spot for these guys as fast as I possibly can. Probably take out the Carnarvon as well. I was going to look in for a carousel there, but I don't think I can get round him. There's two of them as well. I think we just need to pick on these and kill these as quick as we possibly can. View range here. Hit. Even if I go for a track now. That one didn't go through. Not a massive amount I can do there. Very lucky there. Oh my god, wasn't lucky there. Oh dear, bit of, do you know what, I'm not... I don't know, I, no, I didn't play that great in that game really. Still not too familiar on the best spotting spots. And I had a feeling that it might have been out in that water somewhere. Maybe I should have dashed out there at the beginning. These guys are going to struggle to pen this ice uh, three a little bit. Some bigger tanks come around the flank now, so it should be alright. We've just got ice six left. And an, an AT7, we should have this. T34 is on full health, so yeah, you can just bulldoze in there. And the old Jag Panther Vu. No, oh, he's not doing much. What his tiger's doing here, he's waiting around. Why is he? Why is he waiting there? Oh, he's got an R, R, a WT in the, in the bushes somewhere, the probably. Eight point eight is going in for suicide, isn't he? What do you reckon? I6 is going to rush him. I6 is probably thinking, you know what I mean? He's dead anyway. He knows he's dead. That, um, 8.8 8 .8 there just did something that was a bit suicidal, you're asking me. He didn't need to die there, did he? I'm not saying he did, but he just got very lucky, didn't he? We've got an 87 left. Should just steamroll these ones. Now, this WT thing, they got great guns. I haven't gone down that line yet. I'm going to, but. Oh, nice shot on the flank there. Gonna get another one in before he can turn, I think, because he's a slow turn on the. You just aim at the last known position, mate. Oh, I think he moved his gun a little bit, didn't he?
This ice three should just rush in there now. He's on the other side of the rock. I think. Oh, he's on fire. He's at it. It's game over. So, team played well there. Didn't I didn't do too well. But like I said, you've got to sort of expect them in, the, in that tank. I actually did quite, I did quite a spot quite a lot, actually. A little bit more than I think. I did a thousand, so pretty much the same I did in the last round. You know, not the best rounds in the world, but... You just got to make, make, I mean, what can I say? I mean, the three wins, so I can't take, you know, the three wins are wins, aren't they? And that's what I'm saying. You can't expect with these little spotting tanks to be the last tank surviving. I might have done it in the middle middle game, but, you know, you don't, you can't expect to be like that the whole time. Unless you wait in the bush until half the team are dead and then rush in there, which you could do. Or you can go in for the early spot, depending on what you want to do. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, slightly different today. Thought I'd pick something a little bit, you know. In fact, this goes into tier 10s, we all know that. Um, because it's, uh, you know, it's one of the, I'll say one of the best scouts, one of the top scouts. I do, it's one of the best passive scouts. Out of all the ones I've got, the WZ series, the 21, everything else. Because it's just small and fast. You don't, the only downfall is just, just no point, you can't fire the gun really. You know, you can, but the, so the damage is so little that it's hard. I mean, what damage is it doing? So look. Yeah, it's only doing a little amount. It's tiddy amount, isn't it? So you're not doing much with it. Um. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.